Court resumes today in Manhattan uh, for former President Donald Trump in that hush money trial. The former president is required to be there in person. Now, Trump is accused of falsifying internal business records as part of an alleged scheme to bury stories he thought may actually hurt his presidential campaign in 2016. It's the first time, it's the first of Trump's four indictments, four indictments to go to trial and the first criminal trial against a former U.S. president. Trump pleaded not guilty on all counts. Now, right now, it's not clear when this man right here, Michael Cohen, will take the stand. Of course, he's Trump's former lawyer and fixer who went to federal prison after pleading guilty to campaign finance violations and also some other crimes. Also this week, a judge could decide on whether or not uh, former President Trump violated a gag order related to the case. The trial is expected to go on another month or maybe even more. Details on air online at thenationaldesk.com. Let's bring in our investigative reporter, Olivia Rubin, along with criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor, Bernarda Villalona. Olivia, let's talk about what we, what we will be looking out for as we approach this 215 deadline. It looks like we are about, well, 13 minutes or so away. 13 is correct, Kira, and it also coincides with when lunch, uh, court is supposed to resume after the lunch break. So clearly, when Judge Mershon gave his order in the morning and he gave that deadline of 2.15, he said, hey, we're going to get through the morning session, and then when we go into that lunch break, you guys better take those posts down. So teams are looking through those feeds right now to see if the posts have come down. And then remember, he also faces the next deadline, which is to put up the $9,000. And once he does both of those things, that is going to resolve the first uh, set of 10 gag order violations that prosecutors were alleging. The judge found him in contempt for nine. And then looking forward to Thursday, he is facing another potential four contempt violations and $4,000 more. And then moving on from that, even Kira, because yes, it is still going. The judge has threatened that if it comes up again, if there are more willful violations, Donald Trump, instead of facing a financial penalty, could soon be looking at a, a potential pen penalty of jail. So, Bernarda, I don't know if we're going to ever really see Trump in cuffs going to jail. I don't know. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know, but let's be clear. For Judge Marchand to have put that in his order, you know, he's going to have to back that up. So he gave Donald Trump a warning. So by him putting it in that order, I wonder whether Donald Trump is going to call his bluff. But it's definitely a possibility. The arrangement will have to be made of what to do with Secret Service, because as you know, Donald Trump is entitled to Secret Service for the rest of his life. So what do we do with Secret Service? Are they also going to be doing time with Donald Trump? And Olivia, we are now learning that Donald Trump has actually deleted the social media posts that the judge said violated that gag order. Um, so how does that sort of change the dynamic here? Well, just in the nick of time, 2.03 in the post, ABC News can report are starting to come down just ahead of that 2.15 deadline. So once they are all down, that would mean that Donald Trump would be in compliance with that order and then the question remains to be you know seen does he remain in compliance with the gag order that he cannot talk about specifically witnesses in the case and those are most of what the uh, posts that issue are kira there are posts that discuss the witnesses in the case and that is what he is not allowed to be doing and donald trump has defended himself saying that you know he was just merely responding in some cases to attacks against him and the judge did take note of that in in the order saying it is meant to be a shield for witnesses, not a sword for people such as Michael Cohen and Stormy Daniels. But he noted that as they are continuing those witnesses to make public comments on their own about Donald Trump, there is the potential that he could modify that gag order moving forward, saying maybe they don't need the protection at all. So some really interesting dynamics going on with that gag order, Kira. Okay, stay tuned, Olivia, Bernarda, thank you both. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Adam Cooperstein. We're going to get to that anarchy at Columbia in just a moment. But first, we have breaking news in the Trump hush money criminal trial. The judge holding the president in contempt of court this morning for violating a gag order not to speak about witnesses and jurors publicly. The former president has been ordered to pay up and was warned that he could go to jail if this happens again. 
This is where's Gilma Avalos in the newsroom to break down these developments. Gilma. Adam, two major headlines here. The judge overseeing the hush money case